Hey everyone, this is David. It's just a quick hit on a Tuesday. Uh, you know, should we start doing three of these a week? I really don't necessarily want to, but we have so much to get to. You know, we have two quick hits now in the afternoon, usually Tuesday or Wednesday and Sunday. But um, should we just start doing, that would be 10 shows a week. But should we, I mean, there's so much that I want to talk about today, but we're going to have to do another one. Should we start doing three of these in the afternoon? What does everyone think? Well, listen, I mean, there are things that I would love to talk to you about here today, like Mary Cosby has sued her church. Brandy Glanville has been dropped by her lawyers. I have more to say about Kim Richards uh, being institutionalized or not institutionalized, but falling off the wagon. And Kyle is headed to court. So much to talk about. Um, and I really, if we have time, I want to talk. This is so juicy. Joel Kim Booster. You know, this is Shannon's reputation. I have heard for years and years how awful Shannon is to deal with. So I want to talk about that because apparently he's the host of Love Island. Um, of Love Hotel. God, I'm making a lot of mistakes this morning. But I don't think we're going to get to any of that because I just want to talk about this whole Tamra lawsuit thing. We touched upon this on Sunday in the afternoon. Go and listen to that if you haven't. But there is just, I mean, and I actually mean no shade by this, but I mean, Kelly Dodd, she must have that popcorn. It must be buttered so high. Kelly Dodd must be loving this. And I mean, no shade by that because I mean, this shit is more interesting. Once again, we have the names from the past. This is like a uh, vintage Orange County housewives. Like, I mean, where do we even begin? We did touch upon it on Sunday, but very quickly. So look, I mean, I've said before, it really is hard to get sued for slander and definition, especially defamation especially especially if you are a public figure it is hard just so you know you also need to prove damages you can't just go around i mean i could say anything i want right now about anyone now mind you if it's an opinion i'm telling you that the, the times as a lawyer when you really need to get the most concerned is when it goes to someone's business. It's, 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 but you still have to prove damages. So it's not like as easy as everyone. I'm OP, please. People damn me all the time. Teresa's going to sue you for defamation. No one's suing me for defamation. Okay. But, you know, this whole thing with Jim Bellino, when, uh, they, Shannon and, um, Tamara went on the podcast and they said, you know, that someone died on Jim Bellino's property at his, at his trampoline park. That is like a direct statement, which is not true about someone's business. That's where it's like something like that would never come out of my mouth. You know, where it goes to someone's reputation, it's, it's like, like deep, like what we're going to get into with Kelly. You know, you, 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 it's not as strong a case as business, but it does bring up issues. So you know, but here we are, and we have the season, and Tamara's running around with her FBI hat. And whatever she says on the season, she then goes on Watch What Happens this week. And, you know, we're going to talk about this. It's such a an unfortunate situation. Not that I'm sticking up for the rat that scurries. A cha 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 goes the tail. And now we've learned ever since we had our psychic on that her maiden name is Waddle. I learned Tam Tamara Sue Waddle. So the rat is also a waddling, guys. But so she goes on and she's trying to be funny like Tamara and don't get like Lisa Rinna. She's getting the pat on the back. And I'm not comparing her to Lisa Rinna because Lisa Rinna is a working actress, a Hollywood, it, I say legend. I know everyone's going to roll their eyes, but, you know, has worked for years before Housewives and is working just fine after. So I'm not giving Tamara the, the, the pleasure of being compared to Lisa Rinna, but you know, I think producers are patting her on the back. I think in that sense, she is the Lisa Rinna that she is being told you're doing a great job. No one will do this. This is the job. So in the rat's defense, and when I say defense, I mean a 
tiny bit of defense. I do think there is some producer involvement here where they are saying, good girl, nobody else will go to the mat like this. So there is that. But now she does go on, watch what happens. And she says that her business, um, yeah, I guess, you know, her CBD business makes more in a month than Ryan stole from the Dodgers player. So I get what he is saying, you know, now, of so he says he's come out and he says he's hired Jim Bellino's lawyer and he plans to sue her. Let me just be clear there. Why are all the headlines going around that are saying that Tamara has been sued? I know there's this ridiculous, ridiculous picture of a manila envelope that says Tamara Judge, which... I don't even know if this is real, apparently is left on her doorstep. I mean, you don't serve someone by leaving an envelope on their doorstep. You need personal service. Also, again, if someone wants to send me a cease and desist, I will literally go to the bathroom and I will literally take a shit on it and I will literally put it in the envelope and I will literally send it back to you with the shit on it and I will write over the shit, fuck you. I don't believe in cease and desist. The last time I sued somebody, my lawyer said, do you want to send a cease and desist? And I said, it is not my style. No. I actually had coffee with a person and smiled and said everything was fine. And then I fucking sued them. That's how you sue someone. You don't give someone advance notice. So there is this like, I don't think Tamara has been sued. So I think there's a lot of headlines which are wrong. And don't get me wrong, I like uh, Jennifer Pedantry and Ryan a, a gazillion times more than the rat that scurries. Jennifer Pedantry is a wonderful person. I just think like, you know, there is now this, are you going to sue or are you not going to sue? And a lawsuit takes a minute, but I don't think you should keep talking about it if you are going to sue this woman, the rat that scurries. I would just stop and I would go and sue her. I don't like a cease and desist. I don't like notice. It's not my style. It means nothing. You send someone a, a cease and desist that you, to me, it's like, it's like announcing that you're not going to sue someone. It's like, stop doing this or I'm going to sue you. Well, now granted it costs money to sue someone, but I like, I don't play around when it comes to business. So I don't think Tamara has been sued. Just FYI, because there's so many headlines saying that she has. It sounds like Ryan is planning on suing her. I mean, I ain't going to stop you from doing that. You know, Kelly Dodd, call me, girl, because I'm going to get my popcorn ready, too. So it seems like he's thinking of suing her. He's contacted Jim Bellino's lawyer. Yeah, mine as well. I mean, the guy has already has experience suing Tamara. Smart move, Ryan. Smart move. I'm all about it. I just don't like announcing that you are going to sue someone. I just say go and sue them.